Hi, this is an app we designed and developed for the Imperial War Museums called Build the Truce. Uh, this is the menu page here. Currently we have World War I installed, so we're going to walk you through this. The idea behind the app is that it allows groups of students to explore conflict cycles. So for example, things like why do conflicts begin, what makes them escalate and de-escalate, and by building a truce at the end of a conflict, what can we learn about avoiding conflicts beginning again? The app uses digitised objects uh, from the museum. We've got a range of different objects. Um, we've got video, audio and uh, images as well. So for example, that's an image of the uh, Remember the Lusitania poster. Here's an audio clip. Finally, I taught history a good deal of the time. Tried my best to put two sides. I would never influence children, but I don't think one should. But I think you should put the other side as well and make them feel that the people that in the other side in a war are human beings and that their mothers and, and wives and so on care just as much and they don't eat babies as we were told in 1940. You can see that the objects are grouped into themes, so this theme is on propaganda. And what we can do is we can drag those themes uh, onto the screen, so onto the conflict curve above. So, for example, I might decide that um, the precursor to the First World War was empire building. So I'll just drag that onto the conflict curve. I might decide that the truce was built um, through the Treaty of Versailles. Uh, in between, we've got things like the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand as a catalyst for war. And... Perhaps at its height, I might decide that the Battle of the Somme um, showed the height of uh, escalation. So I've now got my conflict curve. You can see that it's resizing dynamically as I drag more themes onto the screen. I can also move things about on screen as well, very simply. Um, so I might decide that my curve is beginning to look like this. And you can see it's changing as I move things. We purposely kept um, the, the movement and the functions on screen very simple because the focus is supposed to be on the students discussing conflict cycles. Um, and it's not about them getting the exact position of these things on the screen correct. So as you can see, there's no scale on screen. You know? um, so it's really about stimulating uh, debate. We've also got a neat feature of the app which allows um, a teacher to display the different groups' tablets uh, on their own tablet and also control uh, the curve there as part of, uh, say for example, a group discussion. So I'm just going to introduce a second tablet here, which you can see is the teacher's tablet. Um, and by clicking on this admin area here uh, and entering a password, the teacher can enter um, the admin area and control which tablet uh, is displayed. Um, so just avert your gaze for a second while I enter the password. Okay, and so uh, I'm now in the admin area. And all of the different uh, tablets that the groups of students have would be displayed here. We've only got two tablets uh, in this uh, demonstration, but you can now see that tablet one, which is what we were demoing, to you just a moment ago, is now shown in the display area. If I, as the teacher, decide to select tablet one, I can now see a mirror of tablet one's screen. So I could be showing this, for example, on a data projector uh, or an interactive whiteboard, for example, uh, and I can now conduct the discussion around what the, um, the first group, tablet one, uh, around their discussion about why they decided that the conflict, uh, conflict curve should look like this. Um, I can control that, so I can start adding uh, new items, for example, uh, say the armistice, for example, and start moving things around on screen to, um, you know, as part of uh, a group discussion. But it gives the teacher complete control over the, uh, uh, the, other, the other tablets um, that the students have been using.